And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Nightfall, our next meme tier Monday deck. So the challenge with this deck, this is a, a you know donation deck. These are all donation decks, but this was one that, that a viewer asked me to build was to put together a deck with Teemo and Puff Caps and also Nightfall cards. So I decided to go with Targon instead of Shadow Isles. You know, we have like half in Targon, half in Shadow Isles. Going this way with Targon because we can have a little bit of protection for Teemo with Pale Cascade, Bastion, some pretty good protection spells. And then we can also use some gems, and I think those are going to be important. We got two Mench of the Stones that can support Teemo or support some like our other Nightfall Elusive or Diana, um, but then can also, also can create some gems. The gems are good enablers for Nightfall. And the gems are great with Puff Cap Peddler. And so I'm also playing one Shards of the Mountain just to fill the hand with gems. Because imagine we have a Puff Cap Peddler or two in play, and we fill our hand with gems, and we get like six gems. Uh, that can just be tons and tons of Puff Caps that we can be giving to our opponent. Also, uh, we can use that for buff buffing up the power of some of our elusives with the gems. Um, you know, with Teemo or Lunari Shade Stalker. Um, and then we also have one Cygnus at the top end, plus this the Cygnus art, as pointed out by Twitch chat, is pretty awesome. Um, you know, God stay safe, wear your mask. Um, uh, but yeah, so that's what we got. We got a couple of progress days at the top end. Um, you know, our, our mushroom clouds that both Chumplump and Clumplewumps that those will create, those are going to be good Nightfall enablers. So we have like our clump of wumps that we can play on turn, you know, Lunari Duskbringer and clump of wumps give us like a one drop and a two drop that we can play and then also create one mana burst spells uh, to help enable Nightfall. And uh, one mana burst spells are also very good with the Peddler. So that's our deck. All right. Um, so we're just going to play over a normal. That's what we do on meme tier Monday. But, um, but as we saw, we still play against very good decks all the time. But we're just playing our meme tier stuff today. All right, looks like we're playing against a little day and night with Diana and Leona together. All right, this hand looks pretty good. Do we need to keep two Duskbringers? Probably not. All right, we'll probably just need one Duskbringer. I don't know, it may not be bad to have two Duskbringers. Just little two ones can do some attacking and blocking. Sure, we'll keep them both. Gonna lead with the Teemo and try to get the Puff Caps. Going right away. Puff Caps. They got five Puff Caps. Obviously, we're not blocking this, but I'm going to play the other one, and then we can open attack. Ooh. Or maybe I don't open attack. I could go Diana, challenge, Solari, shield bearer. No, I'm going to open attack. So Duskbell Dust just says the next unit with Nightfall you play costs one less. So not any spell with Nightfall. Um, so, you know, like, it's not going to reduce the cost of Pale Cascade. So I can spend three mana and Pale Cascade that back. Draw a card. But then, but then our Diana's kind of wasted. I'm, I'm going to just let that happen. I'm going to save this mana for my Chump Wump to be able to give them more Puff Caps. So we just gave him another five.
We'll have our, our 2 1 be able to block the 3 1. <laughs> oh, look at it. His name Cosmo, right? Cosmo's a good boy. Dusk approaches. No. Diana challenge Timo no. no more lies. I will be heard. Scorching light. Pay dead. Gotta give him another five. Can't kill my Timo that easily. Let's go, Teemo. All right, let's. Hmm. Yeah. Their sense travels on the night air. Chosen of the moon. Chosen of power. So I basically want to keep two mana. Like if they if they play like the Lunari Shade Stalker, I'd want to keep my two mana to be able to take that out. So I don't really want to never know what hit us. Face your heretic. You know what? I should just kill this. Like there's not really any difference between the three one and three two, except for if they have pale cascade, they can save their three two, and then that's annoying. Let's just take out the three one. Double pill cascade. See, annoying. Cloaked in silver light. Enough for everyone. There's enough for everyone. That's true. I didn't need to use my dusk pedal dusk. That previous turn, I was gonna, yeah, I just spent the one mana with the team mushroom anyway, so I could have saved it in case we draw a peddler later. Good call. We will not suffer unbelief. They will not escape punishment. Good call. Good call. Temperamental as moonlight. They want to go priestess. Ooh. Is that interesting? Daylight fades and down. The moon is our queen. The night, her kingdom. Let's keep this living legends for later. You cannot hold us down. I don't know. Be like I can. Why not the Destroyer? There's not really any difference between playing, I mean, like, Destroyer or Cygnus this next turn, they're both kind of the same thing, where, like, if my opponent's able to stabilize and, like, we're not able to kill them right now, then in a later game, Living Legends can just be incredible. So we have Diana as a challenger for the for their elusive, and then we have all these other elusives.
Yeah, deck support is where we, uh, like, I'll put your deck up here on stream, and we'll talk about it for, like, five minutes or so and get some support with that. Oh, no. Five, ten minutes. I cannot turn back. Well, that hurt. I will be heard, hearts and shackled. And so that's what I mean. So if they have things like that, that they're able to stabilize living legends. Defiance is our way. It is going to be no awesome. It's like worst case scenario, living legends gets us that other card, right? Like filling our hand with celestial cards. Like worst case scenario, we just play one big celestial card with that. So they still got 38 puff caps with their 25 cards. Spilled paint is just we have removal. Art. Looking pretty good. I mean, I couldn't really open attack because they would just block my Teemo. I, I didn't have an open attack there. I definitely need to play a Nightfall thing first, give Diana Challenger, like all that stuff. Like, Open attack was not an option that last turn. We didn't have any any kind of good attack. Devotion to battle. Basically just using that mana. Um, could play it next turn. Maybe I should be playing it next turn. Because we'd have 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so I would, I would have the mana to play Diana next turn. I, I should have just played it next turn. Alright, what do we want to do? Um, these are all pretty cool. Let's start with you. So we got 12 mana, so we can go double Falling Comet, or I could go Cosmic Inspiration and the Warrior. That seems pretty awesome. Oh, well, Cosmic Inspiration, wait, I could, because that refills my spell mana, so I could do that. And then we have 5 plus 3, so I could do that and... Cosmic Rays. Alright, let's do this first. So we're gonna have 5 plus 3. What's up, Dan? Uh, I don't know what, what my rank is right now. I don't know. You can either go... Uh, okay. So I can go Warrior plus Moon Glow. Or I can go Cosmic Rays. Just obliterates these two. Probably better to go Moon Glow and And the Warrior. Let's give Diana a spell shield. The truth protects our cause. <clears throat> I guess, you know, I'm thinking that, like, just playing the 7-7 seven, seven Challenger is better than the 6-3 Overwhelm, but honestly, maybe it's not. Maybe playing the 6-3 Overwhelm is better. So 
They are at five. Yeah, this should this should kill them. Especially if we challenge over there. I told y'all Living Legend was good. Alright, GG's. And then if, you know, if they would have had, like, a pump spell to keep their thing alive, like, keep them alive, then we'd have the gotcha and overwhelm over. Well, that was an awesome game. That was, like, a we had a great hand. You know, we kept all four cards. We had Teemo turn one. We did exactly what we want to do. Besides having Puff Cap Peddler give them a bunch of Puff Caps, everything else we did exactly what we want. So now we have a Noxus PNZ with Ezreal Teemo. This could potentially be a like an aggro deck. Maybe. <clears throat> Mulliganed all those three plus mana cards, looking for some cheaper stuff. Yeah, so this is either like real control heavy or real aggro heavy. <laughs> it could really be either one. Hey, Cosmo. Uh, Five, six, seven. The question is, do I play Teemo, this Teemo? I, I don't think I play this one. I think I kind of wait on this Teemo. All right, it is hard aggro. Better to kill Boom Crew Rookie or Teemo? Alright, potentially we can have Diana challenge Teemo. Let's kill Boom Crew Rookie. Time to go. Teemo plus Pale Cascade is pretty cool. Zero puff cap so far. Time for a true display of skill. I never use my goggles either. <clears throat> ready. I don't know if I'm supposed to block this team or not. Whenever I have Diana, I'm about to level up mine. I think the answer is no. I think the answer is no. I need... I need... Two extra mana than what I am going to have access to. I love the smell of mushrooms in the morning. So I'm not going to be able to, you know, I would need two more mana to be able to play Chump Lump and get two more Mushroom Clouds to be able to level up my Teemo to start with. So we're not gonna have that. I will be heard. <sighs> I 
So I can only save one of these. It's possibly better to save my Teemo. Than the Diana. Possibly. Come, a new phase awaits. I think it's maybe better to save my Teemo, because my Teemo's gonna be a my Teemo will be a 2-2 after this, so it will be better than their 1-1. Why does Diana have to be better? No refunds. I have a I have a hand full of trump lumps and mushroom clouds. Look at that, worked out. We got a new Diana. Hands off the merch. Pay Sask is planting your mushroom clouds. Candle scouts are never afraid. Okay, so I didn't Mystic Shot the the used Cast Salesman because I could see like another Noxion Fervor or something like that with that attack. Played all these puff caps. By Unseen, the moon is our queen, the night, her kingdom. Go. Get him, Diana. Alright, so they're at 17 puff caps right now. It's about to be doubled to 34. It's a little risky how I'm turning down Mystic Shot right now, but it gives them 20 puff caps. Potentially. A little risky that I. Cool. Alright, so they're down to four. I got this Mystic Shot. They have 54 puff caps with their 28 cards. GG, 2-0. and oh. Good job, Timo. We speak, and they will hear us. 2 and 0. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Trundle, Aurelian Soul. Big baddies. Hmm. There's no team out here. It's not like these cards are good, but I think we have to try to get off to a real aggressive start. Which this was not a real aggressive start, by the way. At least we'll kill that thing. Not let them ramp. This is rough. Yeah. 
This is really rough. Yeah, like Shards of the Mountain, Progress Day, like these are our late game cards. Really, Clump of Lumps couldn't have had you so many turns ago. Popcat Peddler would be one of my best draws for sure. I think maybe I kind of wait on these Mushroom Clouds, see if we can find a Popcat Peddler. This is a pretty awkward hand. was all pretty awkward. I'm just going to play one of those because so, I'm going to pass back to them until like, they can't just like pass and then the turn ends and I waste all this mana. Peddler, now you decide to show up. Priestess is better. Alright, well that was just me mulliganing, looking for an aggressive start, and getting the exact opposite of that. Their hand was really good. They had their two mana ramp card. They had an avalanche they didn't need. <clears throat> and then they had, um, you know, the five mana ramp card into a whole bunch of gas. So they had exactly the kind of hand that that deck wants, and my hand was pretty horrible. All right, let's try again. I th question is, are we keeping Bastion? I'm keeping these three. Question is, Bastion against the Teemo Fizz deck. Don't think we need it. We'll we'll send it back. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. 
Yeah, Ice Pillar is really good. Very good card. Definitely. Alright, that's good for us. We trade one drops, but we also get a spell. Good for us. Just gonna play this. We don't need to play these Nightfall things immediately. It's good to have Peddler in play. Um, before we start playing these spells. Question is, is out of seven, how would you rate this deck? And I think that that answer depend on what kind of scale you would like the deck rated on. There they go. Talk about power level, effectiveness, fun. We have to have some kind of access to rates. Upon. Yeah, this is... Out of fun? Yes. This deck is really fun. I've been very impressed with it. Very happy with it. Definitely a lot of fun. I really wish I could play uh, the 4-3 here as well. We're at 11 out of 15. We're so close. Golden Narwhal? Night descends. Face your heretic. Cool. Well, that makes sense. Another day in the field. So that makes sense, Professor Von Yip deck. Makes sense. Whoa. All sorts of elusives. Guy? We do a pretty good job blocking elusives. Pretty good job. I guess I should have had my peddler challenge the 2 3, shouldn't I? I don't know. In case they have, like, you know, pump spell, we'd have the gotcha. Or at least could have had my tutu just send in there. So I would like to have another uh, Puffcat Peddler in play before... Before playing these mushroom clouds.
Interesting. Fizz blocking over here. They gotta have another Fizz in hand. It's just sleeping, right? We haven't had anything yet though, like we that I feel like sunbursting really matters quite yet. I'm a mushroom. I'm three. I've heard about you. Sunburst does not really work against Fizz. That don't that doesn't get away from Fizz's ability. Use some more Nightfall cards. Get Diana to get this challenger again. I'm gonna keep the Teemo's mushroom cloud. I'm gonna just keep it as Teemo. So like I guess we can block one of these with Teemo. Ooh, that's a good card. No challenge. So yeah, Sunburst won't... Uh, Sunburst would get countered by a spell if they have a Fizz spell. Played four spells. They all get set to 4-4. Four, four. My opponent's trying to meme tier stuff as well. Down to two. That's just difficult going down to two. Because they could just draw a mystic shot and kill me. So that's difficult just saying I'm willing to go to two. Alright, GG's. Try the old Mind Meld Poro Cannon deck. Elusives with Mind Meld. I can see that working out sometimes. Especially if I didn't kill, like if I didn't kill that, um, you know, didn't kill that challenger. I think would have been awesome. <clears throat> All right, here's the Ezreal Targon deck. Not. A favorite of mine. Pretty decent hand. Like Gotcha being able to kill Ezreal. Like having turn one Teemo. The problem, the problem, of course, is like how this is kind of awkward for turn two and turn three and everything. Like all this stuff together is kind of awkward. But they're good cards, and I don't think I just send them away. We'll see what we draw into. Good job, Bastion. Alright. Too many mystic shots. We got them 10 puff caps so far. Puff cap peddler, of course, would be a welcome draw. Kind of have our, our our trade here of the dust bringer and the gift giver. Let's 
Let's go with the trickster. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Was that a glimmer of starlight I saw? And of course I have the Pill Cascade that we can use. Sapphire, gem of our divine faithful. I'm just doing that pretty proactively. Change is coming. You spurn my gift. Obstacle, meet gauntlet. Ooh. Mention of the stones could be really nice with our 2-3 elusive that we have left. Hell Cascade is so good. It's a little weird using it to just keep a 1-1 alive, but of course we don't really know their hand. They may just not have other units to use it on right now. I love passing. are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. Give them those puff caps. <clears throat> Give them chances to draw those puff caps. <clears throat> the earlier we get there, the more cards they draw into it. The only reason to wait on that is if we draw a puff cap peddler, that we could get an extra three. But with them having the extra draw step with them in there, it's probably just worth worth it to have that. Mm. It's unfortunate. Puffcat Peddler would be really good if we find one of those, or Progress Day. Something like that. Either one of those two cards. We haven't been very good at drawing Peddler. We did draw Peddler last game, but that was the only game we've, we've drawn Peddler. No more hiding. This is not the way. Well, they're out of Mystic Shots. I've had all three. Down to 11. Let's give them these. And, you know, just try to, try to get as much damage in with the Puff Caps as we can as well. They've already played two Pale Cascades. As far as protecting Ezreal goes. The journey is difficult. These will protect you. Kinda of expect them to use the gem right here on the Ezreal, but maybe not. I'm gonna see if they do, because you know if they do, then then we get the gem out of their hand also before the gotcha. Watch Burst him. plus three plus three. Hopefully second Ezreal dead. Oh, come on. 
I guess not. I thought for sure we were going to get that Ezreal dead this time. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, it does. That's quite a bit. These gems grant a wearer's armor. That's a terrible card to draw. Only a fool would enter battle with the pair. My gift. Pretty good. Really? <laughs> so that levels up Ezreal. Right after I use all those cards. I was going to try to get you know, a lot of damage on them for these puff caps. But yeah, that, that leveling up Ezreal also... Man, that's rough. Alright, so they... Didn't draw a puff cap there. Ooh. Getting rid of the Mystic Shot. Rather have an Invoke card. How are they not drawing any puff caps? None are lost. They only await the dawn. <laughs> really? That's three draws in a row with no puff caps? Four draws in a row with none? Really? I guess I need them to draw six puff caps. I, of course, wish I would have held on to. Oh, sure, just get another elusive. Why not? I wish I would have held on to. Um. I obviously wish I would have held on to all those cards and didn't didn't do that. That hush, that hush really wrecked me this game. The hush, hush won that game for my opponent. So it would have done a lot of damage that turn if it wasn't for the hush, and also it was three targets to turn their Ezreal from being a five out of eight. Well, I mean, I guess two cards. One was the Bastion, right? Like, because we were going to kill it if it wasn't for Bastion. But then after the Bastion, it was the hush. So obviously, if I if I knew they had Bastion and hush. Um, you know, if I knew, like, obviously, 
I liked my plays how I, I had them, but just looking back at it, I wish I would have had both those mystic shots go upstairs. Um, and I wish I would have had, I wish I would have just not played all of those things. Cause then we drew into puff cat peddler, puff cat peddler. You know, we just, just don't know those things are going to happen. We don't know that they're going to have the bastion to save the Ezreal. And then we don't know that they're going to have hush. And then, and then also we draw puff cat peddlers, you know, so just all that stuff happened. Um, so anyway, there we go. Um, another loss to Ezreal. <laughs> That's like our losses today, it seems like. But this deck was, anyway, back to our deck. Our deck is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I really liked what we had going on here. Pale Cascade, of course, is just such a great card. But yeah, we were able to, to put together some Nightfall and Teemo with Puff Caps together. I do want to just try, I wonder what, like, just going full, full on gems and just playing tons of gems with Peddler gems puff caps i wonder what that'd be like not focusing on the nightfall cards and just getting tons of, of gem stuff um you know because you could play like a bunch of rummage you know so you could play like gems and i think that'll, that'll be an interesting thing interesting thing that we'll try out here soon all these gem card you know these cards that create the gems the gift givers and play those with with rummage and clump bombs, and you know you can just get all sorts of cheap spells to go along with puff cap peddler, um, and you know shards of the mountain, and stuff like that. That could be pretty interesting to to try out. A different take, um, maybe Tiari to go along with Teemo to help protect Teemo. Maybe maybe not. Um. Maybe some veteran investigators, have them draw some more cards. We also got a little unlucky there at the end. They drew four cards in a row with no puff caps. That did not help. But there we go. That's Teemo Nightfall. We even got to play Cygnus once. That was cool. That card's cool. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. But And uh, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think about the Teemo Nightfall deck. And anything else you want to see for next week on Meme Tier Monday, I love those suggestions as well. All right, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.